Last time I was up here, I went wine tasting for a bachelor party. Yeah, that was my response too, when it was brought to the table. My buddy was like, dude, we're going wine tasting. I was like, fucking why? <laughs> what happened to Vegas? We're dudes. It's an enjoyable experience. My one qualm about that uh, <laughs> scenario is the people who pour the wine, these sommeliers. I get that you love wine. You're eating, uh, drinking, talking, breathing, sleeping wine 24-7. But uh, hey, man, don't inundate us with so much information. Uh, don't shower us with all these facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're day drinking, you know? <laughs> it's 10 a.m. and I am fucked up, Bruce. I don't really care where the grape's birth canal is located. I showed up to your winery already drunk. What does that tell you about how much learning I'm trying to do on a Sunday morning? But you think that, you can't say that because that's rude and you, you know, it's fun to pretend, it's fun to go along with their spiel because they get so into it and it's fun to yes and, and and take what they say and spin it into your own bullshit because then you walk out being like, I actually know a lot more about Chardonnay than I thought I did. <laughs> And they get so into it, it's fun to pretend when there's like, if you really, if you guys really listen to your palate, you can actually hear the grape separate from the fruit. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't hear it. It's so much fruit, but I can smell it. It's got a little cinnamon toast crunch, a little, fra little fraggle rock, little apple bees. Is that the, is that the fruit of the loom? Is that a, is that a fucking nutsack in there? That's, the balls are ripe this year. Vegas is where it's at for a bachelor party. You know, I can only handle Vegas for uh, 24, maybe 48 hours tops. Not willing to uh, throw my life away financially. And you need to be if you're going to stay in Vegas for an extended period of time. Uh, a few uh, games that I enjoy, uh, you know what I'm saying? Roulette is the one I will never touch. And people always get in my way like, dude, you got to play roulette, man. What are you doing? Adam, dude, that's the game of chance, man. You never know what's going to happen when you play roulette, man. You never know what's going to happen when you play roulette, man. Do you know, man, you never know what. Do, do, you, know, do you know what's going to happen? You don't know. You don't. No, it's fucking roulette, dog. You don't know. I'm like, bullshit. I know exactly what's going to go down. Here's anybody playing roulette ever. Ready? Uh, black. Fuck! Like, that's pretty much every time. You're a failure in two seconds. Congratulations, Carl. Go tell your wife you can't pick colors properly, you piece of shit. That's an attractive quality in a man. Craps is fun. Craps, you can build uh, some cash out of nowhere with a collective group of strangers and have that uh, out of nowhere unexpected energy be built. And we can all use a little more of that right now uh, with what's going on. Just uh, rally around some strangers and, and just look each other in the eye and be like, dude, we're on the same page. We're, we're winning. We all want money. That's what we're here for. And the superstition level in craps is top notch. Because if you're saying some silly bullshit and you're winning, everyone jumps on board. A lot of people go with the standard, you know, you know, come on, you know, grandma needs a new pair of blue jeans. But, you know, but you can literally, you know, I don't I don't know why grandma always needs more blue jeans, but she does. Fucking get them for her. If that's what she wants, she's about to die. Fucking hook her up with some uh, Levi's, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes people go with, you know, you know, come on, you know, anything you want. And people, if you're winning, again, you know, just, you know, come on, come on, you know, you know, Santa needs a hand job and an Uber. You know, just saying, like, whatever you, you know, somebody jerk off Santa, you know. This guy's hard. Sometimes people get a little too revealing with their info at craps. A little too honest, you know, a little too, uh, all the, uh, eggs in one basket, just, you know, come on, you know, you know, daddy, daddy needs a new minivan for a second family. You're like, holy shit, all right, well, that's definitely not the time to reveal that info, Dan. 